Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluckish channel. Nuclear weapons differ widely from conventional ones. As such, all aircraft that may end up carrying one of these highly destructive devices must undergo specific nuclear certification. This consists of dropping mock bombs under close supervision, allowing engineers to monitor both the performance of the aircraft and the bomb. One aircraft that only recently achieved nuclear certification is the F-35 Lightning. During a test performed over Nellis Air Force Base in September 2021, an F-35A successfully released two inert B-61-12 nuclear bombs. These mock bombs carried no warheads, but otherwise performed in much the same manner as a standard B-61. These weapons are known as thermonuclear gravity bombs. They have a low to intermediate yield of anywhere between 0.3 and 340 kilotons. Each B-61 has multiple delivery methods, including a ground-penetrating option that propels the fired weapon into the ground using attached rockets. The B-61 weapons system has been revitalized several times since its initial introduction, with the Dash 12 versions online in 2010. Teams of engineers on the ground work closely with pilots in order to collect accurate telemetry data to ensure everything functions as intended. In this case, this led to the eventual certification of the F-15 Strike Eagle. Before the F-35A test, only seven aircraft were certified to carry and deploy the B-61 nuclear weapons safely. They are the B-1 Lancer, B-2 Spirit, B-52 Stratofortress, F-A-18 Hornet, A-6 Intruder, F-15E Strike Eagle, and the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Each weapon weighs around 715 pounds and measures around 12 feet long. Test variants feature bright orange paint to signify that they are inert and pose no danger before, during, or after deployment. Though the F-15 is rated to carry up to 16,000 pounds of munitions on its hardpoints, the B-61 is generally attached to the center of the fuselage. This provides additional stability and helps prevent the weapon from being damaged during the flight. Indeed, each B-61 bears a cost of around $28 million. This is far more than one might expect from a conventional missile, rocket, or bomb. The F-15 was first introduced back in 1976, and it has undergone multiple changes and improvements since then. The latest version of this twin-engine combat jet is the F-15E, a two-seat version with additional technology designed to improve navigation, weapons operations, and flight controls. It also includes electronic fly-by-wire controls to replace the traditional manual system.
They're powered by two Pratt & Whitney F100 afterburning turbofans, which allow the Strike Eagle to reach speeds of over 1,500 miles per hour at high altitudes. The F-15's armament only adds to its formidable reputation. Boasting a total of nine hardpoints, the aircraft can carry various combinations of AIM-7 Sparrow, AIM-120 AMRAM, and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. It also boasts a 20-millimeter, six-barrel Vulcan rotary cannon for strafing runs and air-to-air -air combat. Bill, this gun was terrible. This gun is still terrible today. As with any other combat aircraft, the loading of the live ordnance is taken very seriously by members of the maintenance groups assigned to armament systems. Since these weapons can weigh hundreds of pounds or more, ground crews typically require the assistance of specialized vehicles and loaders to move each one into place. These missiles and bombs are largely considered safe until armed. Before the advent of missile and rocket technology, guns were the primary method of attacking targets in the air and on the ground. Even today, most aircraft are equipped with a rapid-fire cannon, which can be used during strafing runs. This is where low-flying aircraft attack stationary or mobile targets by passing over them and unleashing a torrent of gunfire. Large caliber weapons like the 20 mm cannon aboard the F-15 or the 25 mm cannon aboard the F-35 can do immense damage to these targets, even penetrating many lighter forms of armor. When it comes to air-to-ground combat, Few aircraft have proved as successful as the A-10 Thunderbolt. First introduced in the late 1970s, the Thunderbolt is a subsonic fighter bomber with some of the most impressive armaments in the U.S. Air Force. The centerpiece of this aircraft's mobile arsenal is its 30 mm GAU-8A Avenger rotary cannon. Situated directly under the nose of the A-10, this hydraulically driven Gatling gun can fire nearly 4,000 rounds per minute. Unfortunately, the aircraft can only carry around 1,700 rounds at a time. Moreover, loading these large 30 millimeter rounds is a process in and of itself.
adding to the A-10's effectiveness, are a variety of detachable rocket pods, missiles, and bombs, all of which can be affixed to the plane's 11 hardpoints. Though flown exclusively by the United States, the A-10 is recognized around the world as one of the best strafing aircraft. Its maneuverability at low speeds and low altitudes makes it perfect for close air support. Meanwhile, its heavy 30mm gun is more than capable of taking out armored vehicles, tanks, and ground-based weaponry. In fact, the Avenger is one of the most powerful aircraft cannons ever installed and can be configured to fire special armor-piercing rounds to make it even more effective. Though it takes around half a second to reach full speed, the gun is accurate enough to place 80% of its rounds within a 40-foot diameter circle from a range of 4,000 feet. The United States military has a number of air-to-ground combat courses designed to give pilots hands-on experience using the aircraft's guns, missiles, and other weapons. Many of these courses feature temporary structures and other targets that give the pilots and gunners something to aim for. Some even place damaged or retired tanks and armored vehicles in the field to simulate an actual combat experience better. Whether it's a veteran combat plane like the A-10 Thunderbolt or a brand new stealth fighter like the F-35, there's no doubt what these aircraft can do in a fight. Of course, few gunships in the world can compete with the Lockheed AC-130. A massive, long-endurance variant of the classic C-130 transport. This 100-foot-long, four-engine behemoth features an integrated suite of sensors, targeting, and fire control systems. It also boasts multiple gun ports armed with miniguns, cannons, howitzers, and wing-mounted Hellfire missiles. The impressive thing about the AC-130 is that its weapons systems can be altered from mission to mission, as can the specific ammunition it carries. These airmen are loading HE, or high explosive, rounds into the storage area of the aircraft. These rounds are for one of the aircraft's heavy cannons, the 105 mm M102 howitzer. Once airborne, it takes three people to fire this incredibly powerful weapon. The latest configurations of the AC-130 feature the same types of rotary cannons seen on the A-10. Altogether, these various weapons combine to make the AC-130 a formidable opponent. While this aircraft may date back to the late 1960s, there's no denying it can still hold its own in a fight. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.